Hello there, this is Space Number 5. Welcome back to episode 2 of our Scottish Let's Play series. For last episode, we started, began the invasion of England and also Ireland. We've taken the Duchy of Ulster. Um, so, things are going pretty well, at least for this start. Uh, I guess we'll lose the national taxes. I don't think we make much in taxes. That eh, loses us half a ducat a year, but not too big overall. At least half a ducat a month. Um, so... The reason I am in 1.30, the Burgundian inheritance was reworked, um, so it is no longer uh, based off of the the player can no longer really influence it for the most part. Where you know if you siege down Burgundy um, completely or at each every 25 percent, the uh, the duke is more likely to die and get the Burgundian inheritance. Now it's more based on RNG, where it actually depends on if he doesn't have an heir, there's a chance. Um, if he basically puts Mary uh, as uh, as the primary heir claimant, um, it can fire. Um, so it's really, it can happen at any time for the most part, if Mary's there, if there's no legal heir. Um, but it can only fire if Charles has actually been on the throne. So there are, there are ways to circumvent it. Um, if you were doing a Burgundian Let's Play, or basically playing as Burgundy, um, you can actually disinherit Charles, and you can never have the Burgundian inheritance ever fire, because um, it is tied directly to him being on the throne. Um, you know, just kind of food for thought for things that can potentially be done to circumvent that. Um, so, really, it can, can fire at any time. It's no longer tied to if he's at war with France and Austria, that it increases the odds, and also if he's a general, it would also increase the odds pre-1.30, and now it's no longer really relevant. Um, obviously, there's a lot more in detail for that, but that's just after the quick knowledge, because someone commented in the comments from our French Let's Play series where I was trying to do the big blue blob, and it, it was something new in 1.30, and I didn't know about that, so just to inform you guys that did change, because... I had to go read the forms about it, um, and I really appreciate the comments about the game, because I definitely don't know everything, so it definitely helps when you guys give little tidbits and tips and tricks. I greatly appreciate that. We actually go ahead and repay our one, uh, not quite, five ducats short. Sorry, we're making two and a half ducats a month. Another elector has died? What is this? Who's it this time? Platinet Saxony is already gone. Oh, it was the one that actually replaced Saxony. I don't remember who the other one was. <laughs> uh, England is no longer considered a great power. Very nice. Trade League disbanded. The Venice left, or the Knights left Venice's trade, le trade League, so they were the only ones left. So it was disbanded. Pope Man, maybe we want to improve with you. Going back from Brittany. Keep the Pope Man happy, maybe we can get a Cardinal. Truth says France is up. I'm pretty sure we're pretty, pretty like friendly in terms with France. Ah, uh, we don't need prestige. We're doing pretty good. Forty-eight. Uh, not really interested in either of these. Let's go for a stab, I guess. Truth, Portugal is up. England was our truth up. I think it got reset with France. Yeah, seven years. Your truce. Yeah, seven years. Good. That's what we like to see, because we'll probably call you into war. Brandenburg, you lack an heir. Good, good. Could be persuaded to give you a royal marriage. Burgundy, yeah, you're not going to happen. Come on back. How likely are you? A uh, little, little bit more likely. Not by much. Aragon. Neutral attitude. Diplo rep is low. Yeah, that happens. Norway. I do desire these islands. Morale of armies reduction. That always hurts. Coming back from Portugal. You would just go to war. Oh, you actually did exist still. You're giving us trade power. 
should do something where we start annexing some of these islands. Like Lorraine. Is this Lorraine? No, this is Logan. Lorraine's over there by Provence, man. Get lots of these names mixed up. From time to time. I actually want to just transport the troops over there. Protect against England. England, what happened to your army? Because we didn't build any troops. Do you have another diet that we can do? Base tax, Aragon likes us. Yeah, we can do Aragon likes us. It can be done. And maybe we'll marry him. Maybe. You guys going? Just next door. There you guys go deal with it. Oh, good. Wonderful. We only need a 4k stack here. And I think the king is being the current leader, so I don't necessarily want him sitting on a siege because we can have a two-step swing. Would not be good. Let's go ahead and get anyone as a military leader. He's got two siege. We'll take him. So the king home, he can be our combat leader. Do have rebels in Northern Ireland. We can state Ulster. I don't think we'll we'll chill for a little bit. Desmond, do not have a truce with you. You are allied to a couple though. Kildara, you got two allies. Great allied to England, so we're not interested in you. At least not necessarily. We'll probably go up to speed five as we annex Ireland. Aragon, you're 61. I mean, you're, you're making this a lot more temp tempting. Go to merge these armies together. You're giving us trade power and we have a truce. Thought we had a truce with you. No diplomats to send, well. Going back from Brandenburg. I think we're going to go with Aragon. You have no friends. You have no army. There goes the Siege of Lagan. Yeah, I guess we'll just bring the other the Siege Leader back over. Not get any new boats. It's not a little disappointing. <clears throat> Take a month to repair. Let's go blockade this fort over here. You're gonna shoot a royal, a royal marriage? I would greatly appreciate it. Who are you allied to? Quite a few. You have Ormond. I don't think is necessarily... Yeah, they join. I don't think that's that scary. Get you guys together. I think we just declare war here. Just take this one province and peace out Ormond. Go wipe. You go there. Be there on the 5th. Be there on the 1st. We'll chill for a little bit. Coming back from the Pope Man. France declared war in Provence. I'm actually kind of surprised at that one. You guys go over there. Move the king off, because we don't want him to accidentally die. Move the 2k north, I guess. You guys see just a 4k stack. No, we'll take stab. Really decrease the chances that we get rebels. Winter Siege lose 2,000 manpower. Nah, we'll just lose prestige. You guys go. Go ahead and go to the next fo next fort. You guys, meander on home. We'll guess we'll go ahead and drill in Tyrone. Leinster, we'll go ahead and annex you. Thank you for the 15 ducats. Tyrone, we will also annex you. 
Ah, but this time you give us 20 ducats. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for contributing to the cause. That is a stronger Scotland. Ormond, you decide to ally England. Not sure I, I like this idea. Kildare. You would actually take vassalization. Very nice. Send the two siege leader over. Just go back here and you can just start looting there. We found the English rival? Yes, we have indeed done that. And we captured a boat. You can actually go back to protecting trade. I think we're done sieging for a little bit. Air gun. Still no air. Uh, you're not going to last marry you, though. It's a little disappointing. Currently losing two ducats. Hmm. I feel like we should be able to do something about that. Give us 30 ducats, war ups, give me your trade power. I know your alliance with England. And give up your clams, just give us a little bit of additional prestige, because we like prestige. Rolls are getting ready to spawn. Oh, we actually have the begins of a coalition. Ormond and England. Well, they are allied to one another, so I care not. They may, may still decide to uh, join a coalition, but that's okay. Go ahead and drill. What are these? Ulster has some rebels. We have a 20k stack, so we can actually just drill and get rid of the uh, 5k or the 5 unrest. So, yeah, there it goes. And we'll go ahead and repay our loan as well. The so, Ulster's going away. I guess this army is just going to kind of tra traverse Ireland and just put down re rebellions. Just by standing there. We're losing money. Let's go ahead and reduce the cost of our army. Aragon, I guess you will not let us marry. Man, that nobility is super happy. Let's go ahead and demand land. After conquering all of Ireland, we just get morale of armies. Uh, that's uh, not nearly as nice as what I was hoping. Tyrone, you're going to be uh, probably going to be rebels. Uh, yeah, we can lose, reduce the local unrest. It's very nice. Leinster, you have rebels that will be spawning for sure. Irish, I think we can definitely accept Irish as an accepted culture as well. English, you can come. I'm going to go ahead and state this just so that way we can bring them on as an accepted culture. Alas, we cannot do it because we can only have two accepted cultures. National tax modifier increase, that's very nice. Rance, how are you feeling? Feeling good, but not that good. Mm, I guess we'll take a loan. Kind of sucks, but oh well. Global trade power increase, sure. Burgundy, you have Mary on the throne. You have fun with that. We'll see if the Burgundian inheritance decides to fire. Go and brew with Austria, actually. Why are you guys at negative opinion? Because we're allied to France. And a little bit of aggressive expansion. That's going to decay pretty quickly. Scotland has 50% or more trade power in the North Sea. Currently at 36, we can probably get that done. By building boats. I guess coming back from Aragon. No luck in the cause. You are allied to quite a few. Desmond, Cork, Kildare. Or allied to Kildare. Good ally, or give you vassalization. You're actually allied to Burgundy. But you would take vassalization, but not, too bad I'm not interested. Go back over to Ulster, because the coalition or the rebels are getting ready to spawn. 
other than that, we're just kind of kind of relaxing for a little bit. In the calm before the war. England, you really don't have very many friends. Castile, you would join if we offer you land. France, what happens if we uh, give you land as well? Burgundy did take Calais. Okay. Burgundy, you are also losing pretty horribly to Savoy. And Austria, what happened? Oh, excommunication war. So you did declared war on Savoy while they were still inside the empire. Yeah, that's not going to go well for you. Brittany no longer has an heir. What happens if you die? Oh, someone of... Oh, you're allied to Aragon, that's why. Is Aragon more prestigious than us? No. And they do have an heir now. Fair enough. Coming back from France. Brittany, we shall improve with you. Pfizer cost reduction. Sure. Don't really see a reason not to. What's our trade at now? 36. I mean, we got the most there, but it's not quite what we're really going on about. Gain decor. Very nice. Cores definitely help with trade. See, it reduces overextension. Let's see, where are the rebellions? Ulster, slightly. Even with the army there, actually. I think we'll just have to wait another year and it'll go away. Our administrator advisor leaves. Eh, no thanks. I guess we'll lose the legitimacy because it's it'll tick up slowly. Give us that infantry. How many troops can we have? We can have 27, actually. Hmm. That means we probably might be able to do something against the English. We can just ignore the scandal. That's very nice, actually. What trait caused that? Ooh, we also have an open relationship slot. Oh, probably because of Righteous, yeah. Could pick up a vassal. Or Mon, you would take it if you have a royal marriage. Any of them would work, really. Hmm. Who do we want? I mean, it was Aragon originally, but they're since since uh, gone to the wind and are free. Maybe we'll go for like Wales or something. Get a Wales province and just release them. Be kind of nice having in, having Wales around. Could go for Cornwall as well later. Do you have a mission for Wales? into England, and then just conquer London. No. So we can actually have uh, Wales as a vassal. Maybe we'll take that. Truce with England is up. Who are you allied to? France would join, Castile would join. I mean, that, this is kind of like a no-brainer, really. Send the Navy home a little bit. We can walk around here freely as we please. <clears throat> Put the army in half, you go over there. You take the two siege leader. Declare war. France will give you land. What do we want? We want York. York is indeed what we want. Go and declare there, you go there to pale. There goes their army already. Uh, keep the leader there. We want a 15k stack over here, so we can maybe contest the English over here. So they have 28k. Where's the English Navy? We are still giving you military access, yep. And Castile, you also have it. So welcome, you are welcome in our land. Kildare, you... Uh, You lack a, uh, an heir. Don't necessarily want you as a personal union, but I think we'll pick you up as maybe a vassal. Oh, if we get a PU, we get a PU. I'm not really going to be that concerned about it. 
Send the navy over here to blockade the English port. That is the English navy that was pretty obliterated there, actually. It's got one heavy left. I don't think that's really a major concern. No well, allies on board. Maybe we just go and sit right here. You guys just walk in. Ah, then again, we are racing over here. There you go, the French are walking in, good. So that'll give us a 20k stack. This is marsh and hills, so we'll definitely go for the hills instead. Plus they don't have a leader there. There you go, fort is fallen. Go ahead and bring the troops over. This is at 0%, but should be able to go in this combat first. Did not get anything for it. Sad day. Oh well. Gildare, what happens if you die? Oh, you already have an heir. So maybe we just go for vassalization then. Well, there went the big part of the English na army. So we just kind of stroll over here. Please don't take Oh good, you didn't take it. Good. Very nice. Let's go ahead and continue the blockade of England or London. Guess another. Oh, wanted to do another, another tick. Let's go ahead and help France with their block, their army over here. Kind of keep England pinned. This relative location. There you go. Five K troops just gone. Army does need uh, quite a bit of repairs at the moment. Who wants in? Brittany, you would join too? I don't think we necessarily need you in this war. But sure, come on in. Kildare will go ahead and give you a guarantee as well. Just, you know, just to make you a little bit happier. Let's go and blockade, or take Essex. <clears throat> Ooh, Castillo, you guys are going to be fighting over similar land. It's not so good. I don't want to give France any of mainland. It'll, it's going to pose issues. Holland, you're free, actually. That means Burgundy lost pretty bad. Yeah, you have no personal unions now. I uh, will take the 50 diplo points. It'll be fine. So the Burgundian inheritance isn't really something we're going to be sought looking at four. East Frisia, I honestly didn't know you were in the war. Who's that Diplotech? Castile is here now too. Good. I think we're going to have to go help them though. Oh, they did just fine on their own. London did indeed fall. Yeah, we're all just kind of walking around the island. Just kind of going, England, you're dying. And this will be your end. East Frisia. What are you going to give us? War ups money. Sure, we get a third of it. It's fine. Goodbye, East Frisia. English Navy is getting smacked. What's left of it? Still do not take any boats, though. All I want is boats. Go and continue the carpet siege. Yeah, Leinster, Separatist, you're, you're, you're definitely being a thing. I think we're going to try and destroy the entire English Navy, though. Didn't really get anything worthwhile. Go ahead and protect trade in the North Sea. You guys are going to go kill our rebels for us. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Ottomans declared war on Austria. So, oh, Austria took Wallachia, so yeah, it makes sense. Do have your PU on Hungary, so you're actually pretty strong. And brought in Castile, actually. Well, we're already at 100. France will give you that to make you happy. It's a little expensive, I don't want that. Take those two provinces for sure. Could release a Wales. 
would be interested in that. Uh, but we are also getting killed, Dare. Which aggressive expansion are you going to take? Probably enough to where you're going to be pretty disloyal. Or less likely to take vassalization, let me put it that way. Do want pale. Although that's really going to piss you off. <laughs> Does give the rest of the island into the coalition. Maybe we don't take that. It's a lot of land. It's fifty five percent aggressive overextension. Flanders is actually gonna join. That's kind of humorous, honestly. Gonna take that though. Landers is going to join. That's fine. Oh, you don't take pale right right now. It's a difference. Yeah, it's it's eight aggressive expansion for pale. Let's not take it. Take war ups. France, I can't possibly give you any more land unless I return core. I'm not giving you any of this land here in the south. Why are you upset? Reduce their trust by 12? You have 47% of the war score contribution. I mean, I don't think I need you anymore, France, to be honest. I don't think we're, we're married to you anymore. Especially with this much conquest. Kadare, is there any way that we can get an alliance or get you to be vassalized? I get 13 more for privilege. Nah, you're not going to be vassalized. All right. Well, I think we go eat the Irish miners. <laughs> At least, at least Desmond and uh, Munster, that's for sure. Or all of that except this one province. You can we rival Burgundy, sure. Give us a Wales. Yep. Welcome aboard Wales, Kildare, we're gonna... Actually, we're gonna insult you. Make a scornful insult. There we go. That did not give us any more power projection than I thought it would. It's an insult. Make it scornful. You no longer rival to England? No. Interesting. Alrighty, I think we're poised for war here. Gork. That's like call Kildare and it's a cold blood drink. Yeah. They are going to be dying. And I didn't call them in. I goofed. Done goofed. Who else is in this war? Oh, this guy right here. Split. Go over there. Kildare, I just want peace, really. We're kind hearted, apparently. With kudos. Can't say that's a negative trait to really have. <clears throat> oh, looks like Brittany, you got an error in the end. Yep, you got an error. He's zero. Here, gun, how you doing? You have PU of Navarra? Sure. Two males and two males, so the Iberian wedding isn't doesn't look like it's gonna be firing anytime soon. There's a new leader. Ralph Armies will do. Where do we have Tyrone? Sligo. Go over there. Not that you can actually withstand a stack, but, you know, it's the principle. Let's see. Pay one of our debts? Nope. That is the fall of Kildare. 
still a royal marriage. It's kind of annoying. Could just eat you. Just, you know, more aggressive expansion for Flanders. It's 19 aggressive expansion, though. I think we'll say no to that, though. Guess war ups, give me your trade power. Be done. Got 10k stack now for fending off our rebels. Tyrone, you are definitely a thing. <clears throat> Sent the navy out and about. Siege of Cork is already over. Good. This was indeed the Wargle. And there it goes. Connacht. Alright. Yeah, Connacht. See, we just want cork. I do want this as well, but you know, aggressive expansion is a bit much. Flanders is kind of right on the cusp still, so we'll take this. Actually, I guess we'll just piece you out. Give us money. Transfer trade power. Give me war reps. Lose all your claims on my land because <clears throat> I said so. And we'll just go and annex you because now we can lock in over here on this side. And Flanders, you can still be in the coalition, that's fine. Let's go and core that. Cores are almost already done. Let's see, we can do the Wooden Ball, Naval Combat Bonus, Off-Owned Coast. Is that a new one? I don't remember ever seeing that. That's kind of cool. That must be might be a Scottish one. Let's go for ship trade ability, though. They found it to be one of the better ones. We have... Okay, yeah, it is a different province. Okay, I was like, these look almost identical. What's the difference? <clears throat> Got a cores, good stuff. Does mean that, for the most part... Oh, you're actually gonna go eat Kildare. Yeah, you have fun with that. I hope you actually succeed, because it'll save us nipple points. That is all the time I have today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.